Hello, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Random Thoughts from me, O Ted Bear. Now, I think I established back in the in several videos, but specifically in the video The Spawning of Richard Cranium, Why Men Think Between Their Legs. My journey to enlightenment takes some unexpected turns. Now, in this most recent revelation, you know, it didn't take that weird a turn. But then again, uh, this really wasn't a why I was looking to find. But since all, since answers you weren't looking for is still knowledge you can use, at least in a YouTube video, I present to you the body image shot in the arm, the mystical TR. Now, I first became aware of uh, former beauty queens putting on their tiaras to make themselves feel better. In the movie Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock, Michael Caine, and Candace Bergen. In the film, you see Candace... Candace Bergen's character, Kathy Morningside, late at night, thinking she's all alone, open a silk-lined drawer in her desk, which held the Miss USA tiara. Now you can see when she puts the tiara on, in that moment she is sent back through the years to that magical moment when she was crowned Miss USA. Complete with pageant wave and then tears. The scene was priceless on its own, but was only made funnier by the audio commentary by Sandra Bullock. When the commentary track got to that scene, we learned that Candace would, from time to time, put on her her own beauty queen tiara and and walk around the house. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, we found out that her kids dimed her out. Now, I never judged the situation. I just chalked it up as funny and put it into the back of my mind. Filed it under information I would probably never use again. Then, then the car accident got my neck broke. And uh, when I was overseas, and anxiety started setting in, and answering, and the answering of the why in various situations became more and more important to my what I'm going to loosely classify as sanity. It's a way of regaining control and reducing surprises. Surprises bad. That, you know, all this information was pulled back into the forefront of my brain by a source fed animated where Miss Trisha Hirschberger told the story of how, when she's had a very emotional day, it helps to put on the tiara for a while. Now, I wasn't looking for a why in this situation, nor was a why of this situation really needed. But it came to me anyway. Now, society can put pressure on all of us to look a certain way, to fit a certain mold, and society can be crueler than hell if you don't. If you don't think a certain way, if you don't act a certain way, now, I am not going to say that I know a woman's self-esteem issues. Not going to say it, because... But with the help of many female friends I've had over the years, I think I understand. I think I... I think I understand the concepts. Feeling like every, every little blemish, every imperfection... Every ounce of every ounce of fat is a bright neon flashing sign that everybody's looking at, everybody's laughing, going, ha ha, freak. And then there's the internal negative voice going, 
<laughs> you want to know why you're 42 and never been married? <laughs> Look in the mirror, loser. I think I've... I think those are fairly universal concepts, even for me. But here is... Here's where, at least in theory, the tiara comes in. Now, after the competition, it is that one brief shining moment, some, for some the first brief shining moment, where everything is perfect. All the doubts, all the self-shaming, all the self nitpicking, all the and even that internal ha ha loser voice voice is finally silenced at least for one night. No one can doubt, not even her. So, my advice is go for it. Take it, you know. Take, have some comfort in those past glories. I don't have a, a tiara moment, but I know that feeling right after right after battle stations, which is the Navy's, you know, big physical challenge. You know, right after battle stations, you know, finally made it. I was no longer a recruit. I was full full fledged squid. Let me get back to it. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with a visit to the glories of the past. Just don't make the past your permanent address. This has been Random Thoughts for me, O. Ted Bear. I hope I made some sense, and as always, I just hope I have.